Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are looking at Homelinks 2.3, that's Unit 2, Lesson 3, Working with Factor Pairs. Now, if you recall, a factor is a number that you multiply uh, to get a product. So you need two numbers or two factors to multiply together to give you that product. So the pair of factors that you're multiplying is the factor pair. So if you take a look at the example list here for 6, there are four... Uh, equations or four number sentences uh, that give you a product of six. We've got one times six and then the uh, corresponding uh, fact six times one where we're just basically reversing the order of the factors. The same is true for two times three and three times two. So uh, these four uh, number sentences, these four equations uh, show us that there are two pairs of factors, 1 and 6, and 2 and 3. Okay, You don't have to re represent uh, the same numbers twice when you're revealing factor pairs. So the goal is to try to figure out how many different ways you can multiply two numbers together to get uh, your product, which is in this left-hand column right here, this number product column. Okay, So for example, with number 9, uh, what are all the different ways you can multiply two numbers to get to 9? Well, with any and all uh, numbers, there's always going to be at least one factor pair of that number times 1. 1 times 9 gives you 9, and then the reverse, of course, 9 times 1 equals 9. So now we have to th think to ourselves, what other numbers could I multiply together to get to 9? Okay, well, 9 is an odd number, which means that you can only have 9 as a product by multiplying two odd numbers together. And any number above 9 uh, would be too big. So we're basically looking at all other odd numbers uh, between 1 and 9. Mm -hmm. So the odd numbers run 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and then we stop right there. So 3 times 3 gives me 9, so that would be a problem I can put in here. And since it's a double or a square uh, number, I don't need to repeat this problem twice. Five is an odd number, but products of any number multiplied by five are either going to end in five or zero, so that, that doesn't work. And then seven times one is seven, and seven times two is going to give me 14, so seven can't be part of a factor pair. So I think we've exhausted all of our choices, so we're just left with three problems. So the answer to this question, how many factor pairs are there, there are two. 1 and the number 9, and then 3 times itself, so 3 and 3. We use the number twice to represent that it's a factor pair. Now there are some numbers that only come with one pair of factors. Uh, those are numbers that are considered to be prime, and we'll get into prime numbers a little later uh, in this uh, unit. I will point out that the number 17 is an example of a prime number. That means that there are no other multiplication combinations that can get us to 17, except multiplying it by 1. Okay, So the only problems you can do for 1 times 17 is uh, 1 times 17 equals 17, and then 17 times 1 also gives you 17. So there's only one pair of factors, and that is the number itself times 1, 1 and 17, okay? And that is how we approach these problems. We are just looking for how many different ways can we multiply two numbers to get to 
uh, our products that are in the left hand column. Okay. Now lastly, let's take a look down at the bottom, these addition and subtraction problems. These are review from unit one, but it sure doesn't hurt to uh, practice these because you never know when you might be asked to uh, add or subtract again. I'm going to take a look at number four here, 4,578 minus 2,232. They just reversed the order of the parts of this number sentence or this equation. They put the subtraction problem on the right side of the, uh, the uh, equal sign. So whenever I'm subtracting, I always want to line up my place values vertically. That way I can tell if there's going to be any kind of uh, regrouping involved. So I'm going to just go write 2,232 underneath uh, my larger number, 4,578. Now, as you can see, all the digits in the bottom number are smaller than the digits in the top number. So this subtraction problem will not uh, require regrouping. So let's just go ahead and solve. 8 take away 2 is 6. 7 take away 3 is 4. 5 minus 2 is 3. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So my uh, difference between 4,578 and 2,232 is 2,346. If you have questions about uh, factor pairs, multiplication, or uh, subtraction, or anything under the sun when it comes to mathematics, please reach out to your math teacher. That's what they're there for. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thank you.